Good morning, guys. Um, no, you are not seeing things. I am an Oompa Loompa. Um, so obviously yesterday was World Book Day. And those of you that joined my session with for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory would have seen that I was dressed up as an Oompa Loompa. Um, obviously today is Friday, you're in your lessons. However, I'm actually filming this today on World Book Day. You're watching it, well, you're watching it today. I filmed this yesterday. Okay, um, and I thought, do you know what? Whilst I'm dressed up as an umpa loompa, let's record maths. Bada bing. Um, so, today's skill is to add decimals where the sum is greater than one. It is Friday, it's your last day of home learning. How amazing. And then next week on Monday, everyone's back together and I can't wait. So, um, arithmetic then, you have got six times tables. You've got a silver challenge of balancing um, calculations. And then you've got a gold challenge of finding equivalent fractions. Now, um, for the silver challenge, some of you um, find this one a little bit more challenging. So, this one, you need to find out the first part, the answer to the first part first. So, 100 plus 150. Okay, then whatever your answer is, you're just going to subtract this one. Okay, so 100 plus 150 is 250. Take away 125, and that will give you your answer. Okay, so pause the video, take your time, and come back when you're ready for the answers. Okay, here are your answers. And you've got your equivalent fractions. So one half is the same as three over six. Okay, um, good job. Okay, let's have a quick recap. What number is represented on the place value chart? Okay, so we've got how many ones? Oh, well I've already given you the answer. <laughs> so we've got 0 0.632. What's the number when I subtract 0 0.002? So which of these represent 0 0.002? It's the thousandths. What's the number going to be when I subtract two of them? Okay, but if I subtract two of those, okay, it just means I've got none left. So I've got zero ones, I've got six tenths and three hundredths, so it's 0 0.63. What will the number be if I add 0 0.07 to this number? So 0 0.07, okay, we can see that they're hundredths. If we add seven hundredths, we've got 0 0.6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 0 0.6, 10. Is that the right answer? No. Because we know that ten hundredths is the same as what? Ten hundredths is the same as one tenth. Okay, so we can exchange ten of those for one tenth. So we've got um, zero point seven. Okay, because we've got nothing else in the ones, nothing in the hundredths, nothing in the thousandths. So it's just zero point seven. How many more counters do I need? To make one. If you need to get one whole, how many more? So if you think back to that hundred square, we've got seven tenths. Okay, so we've got seven, seventy out of the hundred coloured in. So how many more do I need to colour in to get to one? Okay, well if you've got seven tenths, you're going to add three tenths. I thought that added four then. You're going to add three tenths to give you 10 tenths, which you can then exchange for one whole. Okay, so you're going to add 0 0.3, so 3 tenths. Okay, so let's calculate 0 0.25 and 0 0.82 with place value counters. So we've got 0 0.25, okay, so we've got 2 tenths and 5 hundredths, plus 0 0.82, so I've got 0 ones, I've got 8 tenths and 2 hundredths, so we're going to add them together. 
Okay, let's start over here then with our ones. Have we got any ones? No. Oh, I'm starting in the wrong place. I need to start over here. So we always start with our right column. In this case, it's the hundredths. So we've got five hundredths add two hundredths, which is seven hundredths. After, because they've changed position, I have to keep checking to make sure they've got the right number. So I've got seven hundredths, and then over here I've got two hundredths, two two tenths plus eight tenths, which gives me ten tenths. But we're not going to write ten tenths there. What we're we going to do? Okay, we can see that we've got ten, so we can exchange those ten and have a one instead. So our answer is one point. Zero, seven. Let's have another go. This time we've got thousandths as well. So we've got 0 0.552 plus 0 0.541. Which column are we going to start with? Our thousandths. So we've got two thousandths add one thousandth is three thousandths. Five hundredths plus four hundredths. Seven hundredths. No, it's not. Five hundredths plus four hundredths is nine hundredths. And then we've got five tenths add five tenths is ten tenths. Okay, we can exchange those for one whole. So our answer for this one is one point zero nine three. Okay, let's try another one. So we've got 0 0.538 plus 0 0.642. Okay, let's do our thousandths. So we've got 8 thousandths plus 2 thousandths, which gives us 10 thousandths. Okay, we're not going to write 10 because we only want a one digit number to go in our box. Okay, so we need to exchange those tens for one hundredth because ten of those is the same as one hundredth. We can then add three hundredths plus four hundredths which is seven and we've already got the exchanged one so we've now got a total of eight hundredths and we've got five tenths plus five oh, five tenths plus six tenths this time which gives us eleven tenths but we can exchange are we going to exchange them all? No. Nope. We only exchange 10 of them, okay, so if we do that, it leaves us with one whole, one tenth, and eight hundredths, 1.018. Okay, so over to you. Have a go at drawing place value counters to calculate the following. So on the resources page, there's some place value grids to print out if you like. If not, you can just draw the place value grids in your um, books. Okay, and you don't have to draw the big counters and write the numbers in. You can just um, use pens or pencils to do coloured dots to show the counters. Okay, um, if you're in the bubble, the colours of the counters are on the board. If you're at home, the colours of the counters are on the um, previous slides. Okay. Um, but ones are white, tenths are pink, hundredths are grey, and thousandths are brown, I think. Let me just double check. Yeah. So white, pink, grey, brown. Okay, they're just the four colours that you'll need. So obviously if you're doing a white dot or a white circle, just draw a little circle with your pencil and don't colour it in. Pink you can colour. Grey, you can just shade in with your pencil uh, neatly, and you've obviously got brown as well. If you haven't got colouring pencils at home, um, just draw the counters and write the numbers in them instead, so whether they're tenths, hundredths or thousandths. Okay, so pause the video now and come back when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so the answers are 1.26. 1.635 and 1.24 okay so hopefully you was able to exchange those and uh, find the correct answers 
Okay, so at the beginning of the week we added decimal numbers within one using the column method. Today we're going to use the column method again to add decimals where the sum is greater than one. So all of the answers will be one or more. So we've got 0 0.51 plus 0 0.77. Now as a column method, we know that we need to start off with the right hand side. So we're going to do one add seven, which we know is eight. We're then going to do five add seven, which is 12. So our two goes in our, underneath the, our um, tenths, and then we're going to carry our one over, because it's the same as if we're exchanging with our counters. Okay, and then we can continue with zero plus zero is zero, but we must remember to add this one on. So our answer is 1.28. So it's exactly the same as column addition, but we're just using decimals instead. Okay, then we've got 0 0.8 plus 0 0.256. So I've written it out like this, 0 0.8. What's going to help us add this up? Okay, what did we do previously? We added the zeros just to remind us that they meant nothing. So we've got thousands columns this time. So we've got 0 plus 6 is 6. 0 plus 5 is 5. 8 plus 2 is 10. Where are we going to put our 1? Where are we going to put our 0? Okay, our 0 is going to go in the tenths column and our 1 is going to be carried over. Um, well, it should be underneath and then we add the 0 to plus the 0. Okay, so our answer is 1 up oh, and then it comes up really late. So we've got 1.056. Okay, 0 0.99 plus 0 0.25. Okay, we don't need to add any zeros this time because our, we've got the same amount of decimal places. So we've got 9 add 5. Okay, we know it's 14, so we've got our 4. I don't know why my 1's coming up so slow. And then we're going to carry our 1. Okay, then we've got 9 plus 2 which is 11, but we're going to add this one down here, okay, to make it 12, which means we need to carry another one. And then we can finally do this part of our um, addition. Sorry, the ones have really annoyed me and they've confused me a little bit because I don't know why they're being so delayed. But yeah, so you've got 9 plus 5 is 14, put the 4 there, we carry that 1, we then do 9 plus 2 is 11, plus that 1 is 12, so our 2 goes here and our 1 goes under here, and then 0 plus 0 is 1. So our answer is 1.24. Okay, I keep looking over the head because I'm sitting in my front room and I've got a big window and every now and again somebody walks past I'm just waiting for somebody to look in and see me dressed like an Oompa Loompa um, but they haven't looked in yet so it's okay um, so use column addition to calculate the following so this time you're going to use column addition just to calculate the following decimals okay so think carefully if you haven't got the same amount of decimal spaces uh, decimal places you need to add a zero to help you you don't have to but it, it does help and you've got a whilst you wait okay um, so you've got four questions and then have a go at the whilst you wait if you finish that quickly okay so pause the video now and come back to me when you're ready for the answers okay so we've got 0 0.47 plus 0 0.6 1.07, 1 1.162, 1 1.72, and 1.09. And then if you got onto the whilst you wait, uh, first one is less than, second one is less than, then you've got greater than, and greater than. Okay, so hopefully that was okay for you.
Uh, your final thought for today, Mrs. Hayward uses column addition to calculate 0 0.72 plus 0 0.54. What mistake has she made? What is the correct answer? Okay, so pause the video if you need to discuss it or you want to have a go at working it out for yourself. If you get a different answer and you think Mrs. Hayward is wrong, that's fine, but can you explain why? Can you explain what mistake she's made? Okay, so if we start here in our hundreds column, we've got two plus four. So she's put the six over there. I wonder why she's done that. Then we've got seven plus five is 12. So she's put the two there, but she should have carried the one. And then we haven't got anything in the ones column, so I'm not really sure. Ah, Mrs. Hayward has calculated from left to right. She started here. She's done zero plus zero is zero. Seven plus five is 12. And she's just written the one and the two. And then she's done two plus four is six. So Mrs. Hayward really needs to learn how to do column addition um, and make sure she's lining her numbers up correctly and starting with the right hand side column. Okay, don't worry Mrs. Hayward, you'll get there eventually. So the correct answer is 1.26. Okay, that is it from me today. This is your last home learning session and this is my last ever video. Fingers crossed we don't go into the lockdown. This is my last video. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm quite happy about that. I can't wait to be back in the classroom with everybody. Have a lovely weekend. Make sure you get lots of rest because you're going to be tired next week when you're back at school. Um, okay, that's it. So I will see you all on Monday. Take care, guys. Bye.